Hi everyone, I'm just going to go over how to quickly get started with Ansible automation in Nokia. Now, Ansible primarily would be used for deploying new services, etc. Um, in this, this case, we're just going to use it to get some commands output from our boxes. Uh, later on, I'll make a video about deploying. Uh, VM instances with uh, full configs or base configs, I guess. Uh, so let's just get it running for right now. Big believer in just getting things going. So with that being said, let's take a look at our host file on my VM that's running in my GNS topology. This is the VM running on VMware Ubuntu box and it can see all of these running routers. Um, so if you look at my local host, these are my routers. Uh, production environment, they're probably a DNS server running, so you wouldn't have to worry about this. Um, however, with Ansible, you do need to configure the host, and you would want to create your groups for whatever nodes you want to manage or configure. So, we go into here's our directory inside our Ansible. Uh, folder. So another little tip, uh, make sure you install your tree. That's going to be real helpful when setting this up and making sure everything gets properly um, distributed and, and you got a good directory set up. Uh, I can see this being very, very extensive with different variables and different groups and uh, you name it. So let's configure our host. So host. That's all default stuff. So what we're going to do is call it lab. It's going to be our group. So group name. And we're going with router. Uh, so to match our host, we can make a list of them here. So one through seven are one through seven. Those are our nodes are available, all of them, all the routers at least. And then the playbook that I'm going to make is going to be just to get a quick output of all the OSPF neighbors adjacencies in our area zero, which will be, this is our area zero in my lab here. So I want to run a command and just see what's happening with all these, what adjacencies are up in just one clean um, display of the output. So we will make another group called Core Routers. And that's going to be Core. Core Routers. And that's going to be Router 1 through 4. So one, two, three, four. So we'll go ahead and save this. Oh, actually. Uh, one small thing I had to do is uh, Nokia and, and Ansible, the ad hoc commands are, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong or I haven't gotten it to quite work yet. So pairing the SSH keys is just not having a good time. Um, I've tried using SCP and copying everything over, but for some reason it's just not working. So until I figure that out, um, we're going to do something a little sketchy, but uh, it is a lab so we can play and do whatever we want. Again, we just want to get it working. So Ansible user uh, admin, which is the default. So nothing to worry about here. And Ansible or SSH password is going to be admin so do the same with these guys admin okay so that's going to be pulled into the playbooks from this host file uh, this is being parsed into it so save that uh, next thing will be is creating a directory for all of our playbooks so just uh, you know playbooks 
Um, we'll do select here. Touch. Now we'll call this. Okay. Oops. So that actually needs to be a YAML file. So now I do the tree, and so here is playbooks under Nokia OSPF. So let's dive into it. Okay. So we'll remove this. All right. So we'll make. YAML. So, gotta follow YAML formatting. So, this is kind of new to me. So, I've been kind of learning how to create this and work my way around it. It's pretty self explanatory, but there was a little little tricks here and there. So, the host is gonna be pulled from our host inventory name. So, we're gonna go with the group lab for right now just to see some output and some errors. Uh, Two spaces. Other facts. No, just to make it quicker here. Local connection. Variables. One, two. Post. And let's go with JSON formatting. Inventory post name. Okay. And we're gonna make a task. So tasks two. You're gonna name it, you can name it whatever. Or OSB up neighbors. Okay, so SRS command, and now that's a feature of Ansible as of a, one of the newer releases with Nokia. Alright, so commands. It's going to be raw input essentially. Uh, one, two, so we're gonna do show router OSPF and neighbor. Um, and this is gonna be command line JSON. Alright, so this should get us running, at least for right now. Get some output. Hopefully, I didn't screw something up. So, we're going to do Ansible Playbook. Now, you want to be in the directory of the playbook you're going to be in uh, running, or you're going to have to point it to where, exactly where it's at. So, we're already in there, so. Let's be up YAML. So, let's see what we get here. Okay, so we got a few errors. So let's see what we got going on here. Undefined variable. The task can be an option with an undefined variable. The error was C line. Okay, so let's go back into OSPF here. So, well, okay, we missed something here. There are variable. Didn't do it. <laughs> okay. There it is. Uh, one, two. Okay, I think that's right. All right, here we go. So the play is running. The, uh, it's going through the host name and selecting the tasks. So those are all the routers in the group. So again, our core is only one, two, three, and four, but the group that we chose has all of them. So it's going to pull everything. So you can see here, router seven is giving us an error. It failed. Now the play ran, the playbook ran, but we're not getting any output. So that's really not helping us. So the cool thing with Ansible is so we're gonna fix a couple things. So 
all we want to do is create this um, register here with register everything into a results variable and we're going to use a module called the debug that's going to spit everything into the command line or into the uh, the output it's going to show you everything when you run the playbook so there's a few different ways to do it so we'll go through it so debug um, debug the message is going to be your results uh, results and then we want to fix want to make sure you you know that you got to use the right uh, groups so it will run but it's just going to run on everything so that's something you got to be real careful with if you're running a you know a specific set of a commands or you know make sure you double check your host and your inventory file and make sure everything's running on the right nodes uh, so I can't remember what we made or okay so cat host so we just made it core routers okay so playbooks Nokia Yeah, well, so core router. So that's specifying router one, two, three, and four. Now, if you didn't specify Ansible user or host name, I'm sorry, or username, you can just do it here. So you could just go uh, username, admin, and also the password. Um, just right underneath that line same thing just, so just FYI and if you have errors and you want your playbook to continue and ignore them you could just do uh, I believe that's what the command is I would have to double check but pretty cool little tip there uh, so back to this so register is going to take all the results from the command line output and it's going to dump them uh, in the debug message onto the screen so let's see what happens here playbook so our OSPF playbook let's hope we didn't screw something up all right so here's our debug, which is pretty messy. It's given us everything. So if you were to do this on the Nokia, you know, you get the all the headers and all that. So uh, basically it's given us all of, oops, it's given us all of this. And we don't really need all that. What we're interested in is the adjacency. So and then another thing you can see is uh, we selected the right group so now we're just showing our core OSPF adjacencies so let's go ahead and edit the YAML file now you can use VI2 or whatever <clears throat> or nano or whatever so let's uh, make this a little bit better looking so Standard output, uh, standard, standard output, and lines. So the debug mode allows us to look at the output without the redirecting into a file, um, which is pretty helpful. Like if you're managing servers or something like that, but you know, with these routers, we don't want to start creating text files for everything we're doing just to redirect stuff. But the standard output, you can, you can standard output, um, and just add the lines to view the, just to view the output as it would show you it directly in the command line. So let's see results. Oops, thanks. Okay. So just 
Wait, so let's make sure this. Looking good there. Alright, let's see if this is better. And you are able to have space. Okay, th yeah, this looks way better, so take a look at that. Now we're just getting message, uh, standard output, as if you were standing in front of the, each one of those routers, but now it's just in one screen, one output, you can kind of get an idea of all the cool things we can do using this, so there you have it. Um, that's just a quick way to make this work and get an idea of what we're doing with Ansible. Um, this is my first playbook, um, so I hope to learn a lot more of this and experiment with it and see what we can do. Thank you.